Michael Johnson from Cleveland, Ohio, 140, and you're watching Goodfella TV. All right, man, let's talk about uh, Bud, Terrence Crawford, what should be his next move. I know Josh Kelly, I think, is next in the WBO rankings. If you want to fight Josh Kelly for a vacant WBO title at 154 pounds, not sure how much money is in that, especially since um, David Ivanesian already beat Josh Kelly at 47 and Terrence Crawford beat David Ivanesian at 47, but now Josh Kelly... At 54, uh, and I don't really think it makes no no difference. Um, I don't even know what's Josh, you know, who they've been putting Josh Kelly up against at 154. They've been hiding them, and it's just criminal how some of these dudes get these rankings and these mandatories with these high rankings, and they ain't fought no fucking body. That lets you know it's all about payola. I did a video whenever I choose to drop it about Fondora, Crawford, Spence, and Tim Zoo. It's all payola. Because it don't make no sense. How is losers getting title shots and unification shots and winners are not? These dudes in boxing, these, these sanctioned above bodies don't have any integrity. They was talking about, I forget the name of the uh, the commission or the group that was doing amateur boxing and been robbing you know people, especially black Americans, for years. You know? Um... And uh, now they want to do some type of reform. You know, professional boxing need the same thing going on. Because how are we rewarding losers? And it's all about the business, the business, the business, the business, the business. And the sanctioning belt bodies, real talk, got a lot of power to stop the bullshit. But they getting paid. They getting paid. They getting paid to allow this bullshit. And guess what? A lot of times they get paid. It, it don't benefit uh, 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 a lot of black American fighters. Now, Errol Spence, he benefited from keeping the belts. Keith Thurman, he benefits from keeping the belts. But what do you do? Keith Thurman, it, the, you know, he they allowed him to keep the belts. And Al allegedly was paying them up under the table for him to illegally keep them belts, in my opinion, to stop another black man from conquering a division in Errol Spence. You know, Errol Spence was holding on to those belts. But you know what? You know. He came back in a timely manner, especially compared to Keith Thurman. Right? But Canelo can hold them. They can create belts for them and all that type of shit. You know, all types of shit. But, you know, for Terrence Crawford, I mean, shit. You know, is it, you know, Canelo ain't going to fight you. You know, if you can walk and put, chew bubble gum, he's scared of you. If Jamil wasn't out the ring for a year with a broken hand, Canelo wouldn't have fought Jamil Charlo. Tell me I'm wrong. He wouldn't have fought Jamil Charlo if he wasn't out the ring for a year and have, coming, up, coming off a, over a year layoff in a broken hand. He wouldn't have fought him, especially make, and then making him jump jump up two divisions. Come on. He wouldn't have did that shit. So he ain't trying to fight Terrence Crawford. Canelo's just a little scary-ass motherfucker. Now, and it took y'all 15, 16, 20 years in the game to see what, nigga, like I've been saying for years. Like I expose Triple G. Y'all be seeing what I be saying. Here, my mom. Pause. No diddy. Y'all hear exactly what I be saying. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying. But y'all sit here and act like y'all don't hear. Y'all don't. Y'all don't believe what I'm saying. What I'm saying is so crazy and so wild left and all that. Y'all. Y'all know. Y'all know. Dog on all bullshit. He on the first team. All bullshit. That motherfucker's the MVP. He's scary. He's scary than the motherfucker, bro. Oh, um, they, they put him in the Hall of Fame, and I piss on this plaque. Motherfucker ain't no Hall of Famer. He's a Hall of Shamer. That motherfucker scared of a welterweight. You know, so you know he ain't gonna fight. So do Bud just try to get a fourth belt in the fourth weight class? And then try to attempt to get a fifth belt in the fifth weight class. You got Jenna Bick calling out David Belk and Benavidez. You do. You got Jenna Bick calling out David fucking Benavidez. So he he's starving. So maybe it's an opportunity for Chris him and Chris Eubanks to fight for a vacant WBO. Oh, just throwing ideas out there.
But if I'm him and there ain't no Canelo off the table and, you know, Errol Spence, he a bitch-ass nigga. He probably going to win the title and they going to line him up with so many mandatories. He don't want no rematch. Or they could be building towards the Spence rematch if he can get past Zill, Zoo. They could, but I doubt it. They prepping that dude. They prepping that chicken for Canelo Alvarez. They prepping that chicken for Canelo Alvarez. Mark my words. They prepping that chicken for Canelo Alvarez. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I think Crawford, uh, if I'm drawing the thing up and those things off the table, go for the vacant WBO at 154 and probably go for the vacant WBO at 60 if Jennifer going to drop it. So you probably talking about Josh Kelly, and then you probably like if you want to unify versus Israel Matamov, that's cool. But I think he uh he affiliated with PBC. I could be wrong. But you know, I go up there, get the WBO. The niggas ain't talking about unifying. I go up to 60 if Jenna Big gonna drop it to try to go after Benavidez. I go get that 160 pound title. I become a five division world title in five different weight classes, and I call it a day. Canelo still don't want to play ball. Then cool. Tim Zero Spence Winner don't want to play ball. No Diddy. Um, cool. That what I be doing. I be going. I be going to chase De La Hoya, Pacquiao, and Mayweather. I think those are the only guys that won five divisions in five weight classes. And he probably the only one that's been undisputed out of all of them. He didn't did it twice. And with Jamel Charlo, really showed that Texas had a lot of bitch in it, just like Earl Spence did. Uh, not as much as he did, but. Um, or Louisiana, no disrespect to Texas. Louisiana, I get it. I don't know which one of you niggas claiming Charlo. But when Jamil Charlo, you know, started acting like a little female when it came to Bud, you knew he was going to look, he looked to avoid Tim Zoo. He looked to avoid Terrence Crawford. So he fucked up Crawford getting three, three time undisputed. And maybe if they waived that, they would have waived that care to uh, first Terrence Crawford. And he was like, oh, you can fight Jamil, you can fight Tim Zoo. And then we try to get you the Canelo fight. Maybe he would have kept fucking with PBC. Maybe he would have kept breaking bread with y'all. But no, Charlo wanted to get in his soft girl era. He wanted to get in his feminine, his femininity, right? He wanted to get in his femininity and shit. And what'd he do? What'd he do? This nigga just gave up the wheel to fight. All he was in it was for some money. He ain't no fucking, these niggas is just mercenaries, bro. Y'all put that y'all put that on, on Keith Thurman like he was the only motherfucker, man. Like 98% of the PBC fighters are mercenaries, bro. They here for the money. If they can make money any other way, hooping or being a doctor or easier way, they will go out there and make that money an easier way. They are they don't care about boxing. They doing it because they was too short, not good enough in other court in other sports. They ain't got their pride to fight. They talk a good game, but they don't ever run the fade with nobody. So, but nonetheless, I think that's Crawford's game plan, and that's just my opinion on that. You know, when people say, well, fight Boots, fight Boots. Man, Boots ain't got no name in the game. He barely a main event. Only got promotional problems. So ain't no money in beating his ass. It ain't no honor in beating his ass neither. You know? Now, could they order him and Virgil for the WBO and jump over Josh Kelly? I mean, they could. Virgil gonna get the, the Virgil gonna get fucking retired. I wouldn't mind seeing him beat the fuck out of Virgil Ortiz in Texas. I think Virgil got a chance because he could punch, but boy, he fighting uh Thomas Delore man 54. I'm like, what the fuck is they doing? Like get him a durable 54 pounder that he can beat. Like, go call Austin fucking Trout. How about that? Go call Austin Trout. What are we all calling Thomas DeLorme for, bro? Go pay Austin Trout. What is they doing? The fight you gon' win, good, durable guy. Maybe you can stop him late. What the fuck is you fighting Thomas DeLorme at 54 for? Like, I, 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 oh, man. Boy. That's, bud. That's what I do. You know, life ain't fair. You can't have it all. Socks and draws. You know, you can't have it all. But you got to ask yourself, if Earl get that belt off of Zoo or Fondora, 
is he gonna be looking for the rematch? I'm telling y'all, that motherfucker gonna be looking to sell his back door to Canelo. He gonna be looking to sell his Diddy to Canelo. No Diddy. He gonna look in the shirts back door in my Corey Hogan voice up to up to Canelo. I'm telling y'all, and watch Canelo gonna come down to 164, 163. He gonna accommodate Earl Spence, and that's what they gonna be hoping to do. I'm telling y'all how they how, what they trying to do. They gonna wave the the, red, the man in black little red light like y'all ain't see what y'all seen when Crawford did what he did to him. But hey, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign. <sighs> CJ Good 313. Remember, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit, hit uh, the link tree, man. You can find me on X, Instagram, Facebook, Amazon Music, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Kick, Twitch, a whole bunch of them, man. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.